Asia. Let's go slowly. Crazy, let's see later on what's gonna wait for us. This is the video about my third attempt doing Batsman Traverse. Watsman Traverse is the one of the most beautiful crossings in the Eastern Alps. At 2730 meters, the Watsman is the second highest mountain range in Germany and has three peaks. This trail starts at parking lot at Wimbachbrücke. From there you're hiking to the first point, which is in this case Watsman House at 1930 meters. If you booked accommodation, you can split this hike in two days or take something for eat before you continue on on the next section, which is a little bit more steeper but not extremely technically difficult to the first big Hohek. This is where the fun part starts. From Hohek you are going on a ridge line to the Mittelspitze and then you will need two more hours to the Südspitze. Actually the hardest part for me was going back down from Südspitze. This is quite a steep section and it's also quite demanding. Nevertheless, when you come to the valley, you're left with 7 km of flat area to the parking at Wimbachbrücke. First time I tried this route was in January 2021. Idea was to go to the first peak, but I overestimated myself and since I was not physically well prepared, I had to retrieve. Next time in August 2021 the weather on the second day was quite bad with a lot of rain and thunderstorm, so I had to return as well. And here I am one more time in June 2022 for the third attempt. Actually the first part of the hike to the Watsman house is already quite demanding. It's a uh, hike with a lot of altitude gain in a short period of time so requires a lot of physical endurance. It took me approximately three hours to come to the Watsman house where I take a rest a little bit, take something for drink and take something to eat before I decide to continue on for the next section which is a little bit more difficult. After six hours of hike, I was at the first peak, Hohek. I had a good chance to take a look at the ridge line to the Mittelspitze. I actually decided to stay there overnight so I can continue on the next morning. I also met a couple of people there who were climbing the east wall and also one guy from England who were deciding to go in the same direction as I do. The next day we set off for a ridge line. This was the most interesting part of the entire route. This is not classical via ferrata, even though there are some fixed ropes, but not so many of them. Before I came here I was searching for a description and difficulty of the route and it is described as following. Partly high alpine, the tour is only feasible for experienced, absolutely sure-footed and free from giddiness mountaineers.
enjoyed it. Reaching a Sud Spitze was basically half of the climb. Most important part is now going back down to be able to do similar things again.